the next thing you can uh, help with recession proofing your personal financing, yeah, managing and reducing your debt. So I kind of talked about that with the investing. It's really important with debt that, and this will help with rocket money because you can put in your debts. It'll figure out the price or how much you're spending every month. But you can also, when you set up your account, you can say how much you owe and what the interest rate is. And it builds out that whole budget. If you're wanting to get out of debt, the most important thing to do, once you figured out how much money you make, how much money you spend, you now need to start taking and only making minimum payments on all of your debt with exception to one. So if you have 10 different credit cards or 10 different loans or whatever it is, you got 10 items, you make minimum payments on nine of the 10 accounts. And then you take all of the extra money and you put it on that 10th account. The account that's got the lowest balance owed. So you got a $1,000 credit card, an $800 credit card, a $500 credit card, and a $100 credit card. And I see this every time I look at credit reports. They got these little tiny credit cards and they're paying 20, 30% interest on these cards. And they're paying, instead of paying $30 a month, they're paying $35 here and they're putting an extra $10 over there reconcile all of that to where you pay the minimum on everything and then the lowest balance debt you put all of the extra money towards that again i don't think you should be putting money in a 401k or an ira or an hsa or any of these other retirement accounts until that debt's paid off with exception to your house and your student loans I'm specifically talking about credit card debt and small micro loans that you might have because if you go and you go after the highest interest rate, which a lot of people teach, that highest interest rate might be the largest loan. And if you throw all the extra money on the high interest rate card versus the low balance card, it may be five years before you pay it off and you will most likely quit because that's what people do. They're like, man, I want to be in debt forever. I might as well live my life. I deserve it. I might as well just pay the minimum payments. I'm going to be in debt the rest of my life anyway. I might as well just get used to it. And they pay everybody else first. So you need to pay yourself first and then pay the smallest debt after that. And then that way, what will happen is in a few months, that debt's paid off. You then take the money that you were paying on that small debt. You now move it to the next one, which is now the lowest debt because you pay off debt number 10. Now you move up to debt number nine which is now the lowest. In a few months, that one's paid off. You take all that extra money, you move up to the next one. If you did this, even with the mortgage, you can have that mortgage paid off in 10 years or less, regardless of your income. For more information on this, go into a Fortress University and watch the Fortress banking system. And there's another course in there on how to get out of debt that I go through all of this. And I, I spend a lot more time uh, going through it. So it'll make more sense to you.